Evening, um, we're here today to talk about Catalonia. I'm Scott Jones, I'm part of the editorial team of the Socialist newspaper, the paper of the Socialist Party, and I'm here with Tony Samwa today, he's the Secretary of the Committee for Workers International, um, which is the international organisation that we're affiliated to. Um, so, like I said, we're here to talk about Catalonia, and um, the latest we've heard, of course, is the Spanish government have enacted Article 155, what is that? Well, Article 155 is part of the Spanish Constitution, which was born in 1978. Mm. And basically, it's an extremely repressive aspect of the Constitution, which gives the government the right, if they invoke it, to suspend all of the autonomous uh, rights and powers that exist in uh, Catalonia, the Basque Country mm. uh, and Galicia. And they've enacted this uh, as a latest part of repression against the Catalan people and the decision or the attempt by the Catalan people to hold a referendum yeah. on independence. OK. Um, and of course, you're in Britain. The, the press has kind of you know, presented this as two sides, you know, uh, um, of course, responded to each other. So do you think the Catalan government has provoked this response by their actions at all? No, I mean, I think the Catalan government, uh, they were pressurised by the population of Catalonians to proceed with a re uh, referendum on the right to, for independence. Unfortunately, the leadership of the independence movement in Catalonia, if anything, has downplayed and attempted to demobilise the mass of the population. And that's been particularly the case in the last week or so uh, since the massive mobilisations uh, took place. And the Spanish the state of Spain and the PP government have responded from the point of view of trying to defend the interests of uh, Spanish capitalism. They've um, taken this action, now enacting Article 155, uh, because they fear that if a majority uh, supported Castle independence in Catalonia, that will be possibly emulated in the Basque country and maybe other areas, and they're not prepared to tolerate uh, that position. And do you think... Uh Obviously, the reason they're scared is do you think these act these well, what we've seen in Barcelona, the mass demonstrations, etc., would happen across Spain? If uh, it's possible, it, it would do, uh, uh, but that goes right to the heart, really, I think, of uh, what has taken place inside Catalonia itself. Because you have the right wing Catalan nationalists or pro capitalists dominating the movement, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, and really what is needed or has been needed is for an independent movement of the working peoples and youth of Catalonia that will strike out against the Puigdemont government, who, which has also introduced austerity measures and anti-working class uh, policies in Catalonia itself, mm. to fight against them and fight against the oppression of the Spanish state. And if they did that, fighting for a socialist uh, republic of Catalonia, they could then appeal to link up with the working people throughout the rest of the Spanish state to establish a proper voluntary democratic socialist federation. Mm. I mean, that's a really good point, because obviously uh, some people might think this is a difficult situation for socialists, you know, um, you know, to take a position on, because obviously on the one hand, you know, we obviously support people protesting against the government, um, you know, and we support the strikes and the, the, the protests, but on the other hand, we're nationalists. So do we really want another separate state, you know, that's the... I suppose that's the question people might be asking. Well, we would support both the unity of working peoples everywhere. Uh, that is uh, the basic tenet of socialist ideas. We support the unity of the interests of the working people of, the, of all countries. Uh, and we stand for the unity of the working peoples throughout the Spanish state. But at the same time, we would also defend the democratic rights of the peoples of Catalonia, the peoples of the Basque Country, the peoples of Scotland. Uh, to decide their own future if they wanted an independent state. And then we, of course, would advocate that to defend the interests of, of working people, uh, that would need to be a socialist state. So in the case of Spain and the Spanish state, we support the idea of fighting for an, uh, the right of decide against the repression of Article 155 for the establishment of a socialist republic of Catalonia, but then to appeal to the rest of the working people throughout the Spanish state to join with them in a struggle against the repressive pro-capitalist PP government and to fight to, to come together on a voluntary uh, democratic federation and a socialist uh, federation. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned Scotland, of course, so do you think there's similarities between Catalonia now and Scotland in 2014? There are, there are some similarities, but there's uh, many uh, differences uh, as well. Of course, uh, you have a bit more of a mixed population inside Catalonia itself. That wasn't so much the case in relation to uh, Scotland. 
Um, and of course, you've seen a different response by the British ruling class. The British ruling class historically has always had uh, a capacity to bend on, with the wind, with the pressure, to allow a, a concession uh, to be made, and then only as a last resort to come back uh, to carry out a more repressive policy, which the British ruling class are quite capable of doing. In Spain, you have a somewhat different situation. The Spanish state machine is still dominated by elements whose origins can be traced back to the Franco-fascist dictatorship, mm -hmm. and their response is repression first and uh, ask questions later. Of course, yeah. Um, so, uh, obviously, we've talked about an independent campaign in, in, in Spain. I mean, what does what does that look like? I mean, just uh, just for viewers, obviously, the CWI you were part of um, recently we unified with Esquerda Revolucionaria in the Spanish state, um, and they play a leading role in the students' union. who have been leading obviously a lot of um, these strikes. You know, what, what are they doing and saying needs to happen? Uh, well, they fought the Sindicato de Estudiantes in Catalonia called uh, a massive strike. They called a strike uh, yesterday and today in protest against uh, one five five. And, of course, participated and supported in the massive general strike and demonstration of over three million people taking to the streets mm -hmm. in, in Catalo throughout Catalonia uh, in defence of the right to have a referendum uh, and against the repression of the, uh, uh, by, by the Spanish state. So through the calling of those uh, strikes of the students, they've been really leading the way in terms of setting an example of the need for a mass mobilisation of the population that is democratically controlled and uh, under the leadership of, of, of working people themselves and have tried to point the way forward uh, as to how that would be uh, done. Unfortunately, the current leadership of the independence movement is doing exactly the opposite at this stage. They're trying to demobilise uh, the population and it's leading to a lot of confusion uh, for, for the movement, uh, which may last for a temporary period. but. Having had this uh, uh, scale of mobilisation, the degree of repression, what the Spanish government has succeeded in doing is just ensuring that they've lost any legitimacy in the eyes of millions of Catalan people, particularly the youth and big sections of the working population as well, which is going to be a major problem for the ruling class of the Spanish state in the coming period. And do you think the, the education strike has taken place today and the Students' Union can be like a lever to push independence movement? Uh, well, it points the way. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think now because of what's happened with the leadership, it may become a, the mass mobilizations may go through a, a, a more difficult uh, a period. Because it's been under the leadership of the uh, capitalist, nationalist mm -hmm. Catalan uh, movement of Puigdemont, they've not offered an alternative uh, to working people. And if the working people of Catalonia are going to have to fight a really determined battle, putting in jeopardy their jobs, their livelihood, which they are. 1,500 companies have now relocated out of Catalonia. Really? You're asking them to put their lives on the line, really. They have to uh, be convinced that the objective to do that is worthwhile and the leadership and the movement are not pointing uh, in that direction and giving them a real uh, objective in the interest of working people to fight, uh, to, to, mm -hmm. to carry out a struggle as effective and determinedly as that. Okay. Um, talking about some of the organisation and organising that the uh, Students' Union have done this, uh, like I said, a big student strike today. Well, we've yeah. actually got video uh, of the leader of the Students' Union in Catalonia, Corral, who's uh, been speaking on TV about the education strike today. And we're obviously really looking forward to having Corral speaking here in, in London at the Social right. 2017 event in a couple of weeks' time. So uh, here's the video. Mis hijos no tienen casi ni idea de quién fue Franco. Entonces, esto de que se manifiesten contra la represión franquista, no sé cómo se lo, se lo habéis explicado o se les puede explicar. ¿Cómo mañana esos niños se van a movilizar, hoy y mañana, con, esta, con este eslogan? Bueno, precisamente, ¿no? yo no voy a entrar en, eh, en insultos ¿no? y en degradaciones, eh, pero precisamente ¿no? lo que intentamos hacer con, con este eslogan ¿no? que vosotros decís contra la represión franquista del gobierno del Partido Popular es explicar precisamente ¿no? a alumnos de, de 13, de 14, de 15 años qué significa el artículo 155, ¿no? que es pues, un golpe de Estado encubierto para todo el pueblo de Cataluña, eh, que es acabar de facto ¿no? con todas las libertades democráticas de los jóvenes y los trabajadores, no simplemente aquí en Cataluña, 
pandemia, sino en el conjunto eh, del Estado, ¿no? Y también, pues, con, con precisamente, ¿no? Con toda esta, eh, con el cartel, ¿no? Con toda la convocatoria queremos explicar cosas que nosotros creemos que no se están explicando en los institutos, ¿no? Como que, por ejemplo, eh, el rey Juan Carlos, ¿no? El padre del actual rey fue puesto a dedo eh, por el dictador Francisco Franco, ¿no? No sé si veis la imagen, ¿no? Eh, yo simplemente, yo simplemente me gustaría acabar, me gustaría acabar la idea porque yo no he interrumpido a nadie. Uh, so you can get your tickets to your Corral and also Juan Ignacio Ramos, who's the general secretary of our sister party in the Spanish state, who will be speaking at the Saturday rally uh, at Socialism 2017. So you can check out uh, socialistparty.org.uk and also socialistworld.net for updates on the situation in Catalonia and of course get your tickets for socialism and, and all the latest news from Catalonia. Thanks.